honestly, Japan is probably one of the safest places I've ever been in my life. Um, I, I never, I think there were only a couple times on my mission where I felt kind of like scared or because it was like dangerous or something, but it was just because there was like a weird person or something. But, um, I mean, it's so safe and a, a lot of, you can leave your bike out and even if it's unlocked sometimes, I mean, nobody takes it. You could leave like a million dollars on the ground and I honestly don't think someone would steal it because they're just such kind people. And um, yeah, regardless of what area I was in, I always felt really safe. So in the summer, Japan is so hot. You'll take a shower and get all dried off and then three minutes later, you're just dripping sweat again because it's, it's just humid and um, you ride your bike outside and regardless of what you do you're gonna be hot and sweaty so the summers you just want to wear the coolest clothing possible and then winter I thought it was freezing and I I mean I'm from Utah so I can handle the cold but it's freezing because there's wind and it's humid and stuff and so it you know it kind of bites you a little bit more in Japan most of the men work and so a lot of them work at you know big businesses or um, factories and stuff but usually the factories are for more like minor class people and um, kind of you know same with America there's people in every different aspect of like the job world and there's so many different things that they do there's actually lots of like car production you know factories like Toyota that's one of the areas in in our mission and of course there's the Toyota industry and different places like that they have and you know it depends on the area that you're in sometimes you know we we go and do fun activities as a district and go see you know like a different shrine or a temple or something but a lot of times we would just be so exhausted that we just kind of rest and you know have to get things done I mean we did our laundry and our shopping and um some of my companions they like to write letters so they would do that and um I like to sleep because I was tired but yeah um it's really fun there's so many th fun things to see in Japan um that you know, we loved going together as districts and just even if we just got lunch together, you know, it was really fun. We usually live in apartments in the mission and I mean, they're, they're really nice living circumstances. We're really lucky and of course you sleep on a futon, which is, you know, just like a little mat and it's on the floor. So at first it won't be very comfortable, but you'll be so tired that it doesn't even matter um, and you'll just get comfortable with that. Uh, we ride we ride our bikes almost everywhere, um, th and you'll buy your own bike on when you get to the mission field. But you know sometimes if there's if, to go from you know di different meetings or something, we have to take the train. And but I also you know sometimes we'd walk and stuff. But I I would say that it's going to be a lot of bike riding, regardless of what area you serve in. Um, it, there's bike riding. The people in the different areas, um, if you go more up north, it's, you know, just Japanese people. But down south in our mission, there's more, you know, Filipinos, there's more Brazilians and Peruvians. That, and they live kind of in these apartments, apartment complexes, because they work in the factories. And so I actually taught a lot of them um, in one of my areas because I had a Brazilian companion. And so she, you know, we taught in Portuguese. Uh, she taught in Portuguese. And um yeah, it was it was really good, but our mission president really wanted us to focus on teaching the Japanese people so that we could strengthen the wards in our mission.